Hi, today I'm going to show you how to draw a line in Word. Now there's multiple lines that you can draw in Word in a few different ways. So the first and most simple option is to simply use the draw tool. So we go up to the top here and we go along to draw. You can see that you've got a number of options here with different pens and colours. You simply click on a pen of your choice and you can simply draw a line. And as you can see, there are different pen types and different colours. If you double click on the pen, you can go down and select different colours. If the colour of your choice isn't there, you can go to more colours or you'll be given every option of the rainbow. If the pen isn't thick enough for you, you can choose from these options up here to increase or decrease the size of your pen. If you don't want to draw wiggly lines and you want something a little more constructive, then if we simply go to the insert tab and we go along to the shapes icon and we click on the arrow and choose line. When we return to the page you'll see that you have a cross and if you simply click and drag you can draw a line. Now at the moment my line is set to blue for a previous project but I can go up here and click on black. I can also click on this right arrow and it will scroll through different options for me. If I would like more options I click on the down arrow and here we're given a number of different options, different colours and different styles of lines. If you want to change the colour of your line you simply go to shape outline, click on the colour of your choice and then your line will change. Now for different styles of line if we go up again and we go to insert line we click and drag once again. If we double click on this little green ball icon, you'll see that there is a panel that appears on the right hand side. This panel gives you a lot of different options for your line. What you'll find is you will have fill and line. If we go to line, you'll see that you have a number of different options here, including the different styles of line. So if I just increase the width of my line, I can press the up arrow here, or I can simply enter the numerical or the numerical value. If you come down here to compound type, you can see that you have a number of different options here. And then if you want to change the color of your line, you simply go up here and click on the color of your choice. To copy and paste, you simply check Command or Control C, followed by Command or Control V, which will then allow you to copy and paste your line. And alternatively, you can go back, and as long as your line is highlighted, which you can tell by these green circles at either end, you can simply go back to your panel and click on a different line of your choice. And then you can simply command or control again. And then you can also go to the arrows to select different arrows. And again, you can increase or decrease the size of your line. We just copy and paste that line again. The way in which you move the line ensure that your cursor turns to a cross and you can simply move the line. Now if we just move these lines down there are some shortcuts to drawing a straight line across your page from margin to margin. 
And if you simply type the dash key three times and press enter, you'll have a straight line. If you press the equals key three times and press enter, you'll get a double line. And there are additional types of lines that you can also type using various hashtags and stars on your computer keyboard. Now don't forget with all of these different lines you can simply click on your line and you can use the green circles at either end to simply reduce the size of your line, rotate your line so you don't, don't feel that your line is restricted to a horizontal line because of course you can make it vertical as well. Now, if you decided that you wanted to combine your lines with text, then normal text, you can obviously just type away. What I'm going to do is just quickly extend this to a paragraph, so bear with me. Okay, so just pretend this is a paragraph for now. What you will find is if you want to simply move your line, you can actually put your line over the top of your text. Um, which is really good if you want to use the lines as signature bars. Um, and here you can just see that my line isn't actually level. So at this left hand side you can see that the line is quite tight up against the uh, red wiggly line, but this side here it's actually uh, further away. So what we're going to do is just simply click on the green dot and simply move that up so that you can check that that's perfectly straight. Okay so I hope that's helped somebody today and if it has please subscribe and have a great day.